Okay, the purpose of these videos is to provide you the information you need for the Certified Information System Security Professional Exam. And I based this off of the ISC Squared's training manual that was set up for April of 2018. So what I did was I took the training manual, used it as a template from the objective standpoint to understand how to best teach you and train uh, on the content that you'll see within the uh, ISC Squared training manual and what you'll see on the test. And I added that together and just basically used those as a, a primer, right? And then from there, I added context based on my years of experience and my knowledge around the CISSP and as all these different roles that I've taken from a security architect to a CISO as I am at currently right now and having the background as a hacker. So all of those pieces have kind of come together to provide you the best level of training I can for the CISSP. Uh, so again, that's the whole purpose around it was to give you that and, and it's more than just a training around just the, taking the CISSP exam because uh, you can take a lot of questions, study a lot of questions. And at the end of the day, you I mean, I did it right. And I went through massive amounts of questions just to understand what they were getting at. But bottom line is, is that you also need to understand some of the context behind it, some of the information behind it as well. And so I will cover each objective that's in the ISC squared manual. Now, in some cases, I may cover that objective multiple times because it's in multiple domains. But at the end of the day, you're going to get every objective will be covered through this training. Now, got to throw out the disclaimer because guess what? <laughs> One, I'm not a lawyer, so therefore do not listen to me on legal advice. If you do, bad idea on you. <laughs> it's your choice, but don't do it. Second thing is it's it comes down to is this is not a guarantee that you will pass. Okay, I took it the first time by myself. I just self-studied and I failed it. Um, and now I took it the second time and I, I was able to pass it the second time around. The, the CISSP is typically known that you it's hard to pass right the first time around. Now, if you really want to get a really good handle on the fact that I'm just going to be honest, if you really want to spend seven or eight thousand dollars and go to a one week long boot camp, I highly recommend it. You will get probably the more information than you need to be able to pass the test and they'll spoon feed you to a point where you probably are have a much higher chance of passing the test. However, the, I'm putting this course together because most people can't afford to take a week off of work and spend seven or eight thousand dollars. This information is going to be there for you. Um, not all of the content that I provide though will cover every aspect of the CISSP. I'm going to cover the objectives and each objective will be covered in depth and in detail. However, because the CISSP is, we, we kind of to say it's a mile wide and an inch deep, um, because it is so wide and so broad, there's absolutely no way that I can physically put a, a full course together without taking up seven or eight days of constant training to provide you the level that you would need to have that. Uh, and the course would end up costing five or six thousand uh, dollars. So therefore, this is going to give you a great primer to begin to understand what you need to do to pass the test. And if you understand the concepts, because really what it comes down to is taking the test and understanding what is the question they're asking you and how to deal with that specific question. OK, I also recommend like I just even shot up there initially, invest in other training materials. Question banks will help you to understand how to take the test from a question standpoint. The biggest thing that got me was I didn't know how to take a test from ISC squared on the what were they asking for? I also didn't have the background that I have now. So therefore, it was really kind of hard. You're kind of guessing in some respects about what are they actually asking for? Well, with this course, I'm going to provide you that level of background that a security officer wouldn't want or a security manager would understand with years of experience of doing it. So but I also recommend, though, getting other training materials. It's, it's just important for you to gain your knowledge and grow as a security person uh, within this space. Now, how do you study? What do you do? Okay, here's the million dollar question. You need to read online materials and I recommend getting into blogs, white papers, posts that are out there. All of those will give you a good sample of understanding the vernacular, the conversations about what is security. Uh, because I also, I'll just be honest, I'm a, I've got like a third grade education, not really, but sort of, I feel like it most days. And so therefore what happens is, is these complex terms and terminology just messes me up. I don't understand what they're saying. Well, but the more I learn around that vernacular, the more I understand what people are talking, I'm able to understand their language. Hence, the more blogs, white papers, podcasts, whatever it might be that you listen to will help you have a better understanding of how to best protect your network and how to pass the CISSP. Also look at sample study questions. Those are important. 
Um, the, the testing is very different than it was when I took the test. Um, it's, it's, I would say it's probably even harder in some respects. Uh, but you need to understand what are they, what questions are they asking and why are they asking those questions. Talked about podcasts already, but podcasts and webinars are a good source of information. Most of them are free. They're just trying to get information out. I put out a podcast for Reduce Cyber Risk, um, and that deals with training materials along with security news and issues. There's Security Now. There's other places out there. But I'd highly recommend that you expand your knowledge to include the cloud, AWS and Azure. Very good points around that. Understand the podcasts that, that are produced by those. Also, visit with industry leaders and mentors. You need to find somebody that can help you. Uh, having the background is important, but also having someone you can bounce ideas off of. Because the other thing is, if a security person tells you they know everything, then run away as fast as you can, because there's no way that they know everything. Uh, and, and so, therefore, it's important, no matter how many years you have an experience, to get around other leaders to understand what's best to protect your, your network and your environment. And then also, like I said, watching and listening to this course. The course is going to be provided in video, but I also will have it in audio versions as well. So you can download it, use it as you need to see fit. Uh, but bottom line is that's the purpose, is to provide you with the tools you need to be successful in your uh, security business, whether it's as a professional working for a job or even as a consultant.